There are a lot of different fund companies out there, and in turn, a vast number of funds available in the marketplace. Some funds will have names that sound very similar, such as Canadian Equity Fund. But while the fund names may be similar, their risk profiles may differ. For example, one could be a medium risk fund and the other a high risk fund. In 2017, a standardized method for classifying risk was adopted by conventional mutual funds as well as exchange traded funds. Prior to that, fund managers would assign the fund a risk rating. However, medium risk could also mean slightly different things to different fund managers. The standardized method ranks funds by standard deviation as the sole measure of risk. Under this system, if a fund has a standard deviation of less than six, it is considered a low risk fund. On the other hand, if a fund has a standard deviation of 20 or more, it's considered a high risk fund. Now there's no need to memorize the various ratings as you can always look them up. However, you should know that funds are ranked according to standard deviation. This will be much easier for you to understand and remember if you have an understanding of what standard deviation of returns refers to. You will now see two investments on the screen, along with their annual returns over a five-year period. Notice that if you invested $100,000 in each of these investments at the end of five years, the market values would pretty much be the same, roughly $161,000. Despite having a similar return over the five-year period, if I asked you which investment is the riskiest, I think most of you would agree it would be investment B. Notice that investment A had a consistent return of 10% every single year. In other words, the annual return didn't deviate at all. Compare that to investment B, where the return deviated greatly from year to year. I'm sure that many risk-averse investors would have panicked and liquidated the investment in year two when the negative return caused the market value to fall below the initial amount invested. In more technical terms, standard deviation measures the fluctuation around a central tendency, in this case a return. Now you don't need to know how to calculate it as it's a pretty complex calculation, just know what it is. For example, you should understand that the higher the standard deviation, the higher the risk. 